Brittany, just some uh, quick thoughts as to where you folks are from, say, last year at this time, well, postseason at this time and, and tomorrow. Um, I think for sure we're a lot fresher than we have been in the past, not having to travel so often. Um, being home is just a huge advantage, you know, sleeping in our own beds and, um, you know, being able to practice in our own gym and be able to lift. And I, I just think the energy level is a little bit higher. Um, the excitement level is definitely up there, too, just because, you know, we're playing in front of our home crowd. The atmosphere is it a, what's more important, the, the freshness and the not having to do any of the other stuff or hearing, hearing that crowd when you guys come out and, and what happens during the match? Um, well, I mean, I think there's everything contributes to it, but definitely being fresh, not having to be in a hotel and, you know, being locked up inside somewhere. <laughs> um, but, you know, the fans give us so much energy, and it's just it's fun to have that many people cheering for you. Your first NCAA tournament was also at SC to start, and that last match against the Trojan, you and Anelli stuff them twice. Um, Anelli actually brought that up to me the other night just because it was an accidental block. Um, I was going for a fade and they, there was an overpass and it was like a slide block thing. But, you know, I don't really think about that. I, I think last year's match is more fresh in my mind and, you know, just being in the zone and I just, I have complete faith that we can beat them. What else do you remember? That was, that was, you guys only lost for a long time last year. What did you, can you learn from something that long ago? Oh, for sure. I mean, we we have a lot of talent on the team this year, and so um, I think if we just come out strong and you know just play our, our game, we don't have anything to worry about. Does not having to travel also help your back? I don't know if it's an issue. I think for all of us tall girls, not having to travel is a plus. You know, not having to be cramped up for five hours on a plane. But it's a primary concern about USC. I, they're a big team, you know, just shutting down their hitters and getting hitting around the block for us. It's a very diverse team, not only nationalities, but it's just got a lot of different personalities. And it's just uh, everybody's different. Everybody's got their own little personality, and that kind of makes for fun practices and fun road trips. <laughs> well, I mean, she happened to be the one that was closest to me when we were walking off the f court. But, uh, you know, I, Jane's one of those different personalities, that's for sure. So it's, it's been, you know, I mean, she's an interesting person herself. Um, but we got a lot of characters on the team. Any, any reason why coming down to you and USC Yeah, I am not sure why we always end up in their bracket. I, I don't think it's a conscious effort by the committee. I think it just falls into place um, numbers-wise, I guess. I mean, it's we, we'd rather see somebody else, but unfortunately, um, you know, they're, they're with us again. Well, they know us as well as we know them. I mean, I've seen their players evolve since 2009. It was 2008, right, we played them? I mean, here Jupiter was a... Uh, Jupiter, I mean, all three of them, Jupiter and... Um, Bateman, Bateman and, Williams. and Williams were all just puppies. And, you know, they, they've certainly grown into great volleyball players. The first year, they, they uh, to be honest, they were not very good. Um, and that, that, that's one of the reasons we won. But, but they're very, very good now. So what's the biggest primary concern of it? Well, I mean, their, their height 
something that we can't let bother us. Um, they're a good blocking team. You know, the three people that had fantastic nights against us a year ago were Williams and Jupiter and, and Fuller. So we've got to find a way to slow one of them down or all of them down. Otherwise, it'll be a long night for us. <coughs> Well, I think it gave our team some confidence um, that it wasn't just size that was going to determine the, the outcome of that match. You know, for, for a little while we, we struggled with size, but I think that uh, the longer the match went, the, the better we played and the, the height was negated in the end. Well, one of the things that I'm, I'm taking from last year's match is we're way better. Um, you know, we've got more weapons than we did a year and a half, well, a year and four months ago. I think they're way better, but I know we're much better. So that, that, that gives me confidence that, uh, you know, we can win this match. Is there extra pressure? Huh? Well, not now. I tell you, last week there was tremendous pressure on, on, on the team to win and get to this match. I haven't felt the same pressure at all this week. I mean, we're here. We're, we're uh, just focused on the game now. Last week there was a lot of other you know, kinds of, uh, you know, people doubting us and all that. But, you know, we, we're here now, so we're just focused on the game. Um, I haven't thought about that particular match in a while, but um, you know, just seeing the colors out there uh, will kind of refresh your memory about all the great matches we've had with USC over the years. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're totally unrelated, but. You know, I always have a, a special feeling about that night, and hopefully we can recapture that. You think back then, do you uh, see Chuck Irby and Michaela as the same person, or did something <laughs> change when you took over? Them? Well, I mean... Where do you see Mick in 88? I remember Mick in 88, and, uh, you know, that one hurt. But uh, we've had so many big matches against each other, uh, it, it, it seems to all even out. He's, he's a great coach, and he's, he's got this, team, this particular team playing very, very well. And, um, you know, I respect Mick a lot because he, he's, he's uh, persevered over the years. There were, there were times a few years ago when people didn't think his teams were very good, but you know, I don't think anybody can doubt him now. You know, when the selection bracket came out, um, people were calling this the bracket of death. Do you feel it's still as tough as, say, two weeks ago? Well, you don't have the name teams on the other side of the bracket, but you have two teams that survived and are playing really well. Um, whoever wins between SC and Hawaii will, will not have an easy night on Saturday. Um, there's going to be a lot of emotion spent Friday night. Whenever the Pepperdine Kansas State match will be in a hotel room by 10 and they'll be very, very hungry. And, you know, a lot of his attitude going into a match, whether you respect that opponent um, or, or maybe not so much. And so, That'll be up to the coaches to make sure that doesn't happen, you know, for the winning team on Friday. I, I have no idea, and I really, um, you know, we, we know Pepperdine better, 
but I'm not sure I'd rather play them. Um, I watched Kansas State beat Nebraska, and they looked like they could win the national championship if they played that well every night. They, they were very, very good. So, uh, you know, it was almost like last week. I really didn't have a preference, and I'm just hoping to survive uh, Friday night.